Hello, my beautiful diamonds and my TikTokers. It's story time. This one is based on after all the abuse he's put me through, why can't I just leave? And here's the question. I finally went to an attorney yesterday and learned all the steps I need to divorce my a-hole. You know what a-hole is anyway. I woke up today scared and shaking. Why can't I just do it? Why am I so afraid? He has cut back on his drinking. He's sweet to me and our kids now, but he's not going to AA like he promised or doing anything else to help himself or get the help that he needs. I know that this is just part of our roller coaster of a life and he's going to slowly go back to heavy drinking. But today, I'm questioning whether I should really leave him. I keep thinking, it's really not that bad right now. Is it really worth tearing my family apart? What will he do without me? How will he make it on his own? He is going to be devastated if I divorce him. What is wrong with me? Why am I so worried about him when I've given him a million chances to get healthy and sober? I know the right thing to do here. Why can't I just do it? Now, what this sounds like to me is any and everything, but it's not love. I think it's a trauma bond that she has and that she's feeling. So the answer that I gave to her is the first question you need to ask is why is he more important than you? What you are describing is called a trauma bond. Get yourself into counseling and maybe join an Al-Anon or something like that. It's really very easy and it will really help you. An alcoholic cannot just cut down on drinking, not for long anyway. This will only get worse, so it will be good for you to learn some strategies to protect your sanity and to start to detach from this trauma bond you are in with him. And remember, he is a grown man making his own choices and decisions. You are not his mother and you are not obligated to take care of him. Maybe devastation is what it will take for him to hit his rock bottom and make the changes he needs to make. You can't do it for him. Change is hard. Can you try asking yourself these different questions? Is this the life I want? Is this the environment I want my kids to grow up in? He is not your responsibility. His problems are not your problems. He hasn't stopped drinking with all the chances you have given, and he hasn't. This time, alcoholics can't come back. He has to realize that alcoholics can't come back not cut back, I'm sorry. Alcoholics cannot cut back long term. Until he is ready to quit, nothing you say or do will make him. He needs to come to that decision on his own for himself. Now, and I know this is a hard decision. One only you can make. You have to choose whether to stay and suffer through this or leave and learn how to go on and get along after being trauma bonded. They have so many classes and there's so many support groups for this very same thing that you're going through. And they do. They have codependency groups and they're right on Zoom. And the beauty is that people don't even have to leave the comfort of their home. You know? And you get to meet different people who are going through the exact same thing that you're going through and they can identify. They can relate completely with you. And that's always proven to be very helpful. And it has proven to give women the necessary strength that they need so that they can better their lives. And that's pretty much uh, the best that I could give her. You know, you have a lot of people who constantly keep confusing love with trauma bonding, low self-esteem, fear, because they're afraid to stand on their own. You know, most of these 
marriages and relationships today are based on fear. You know, they're afraid of the unknown or they're afraid of being alone because for some reason they seem to think that being single means being alone. And uh, that's not true. You know, you have a lot of people who are attached because of this fear and then there's codependency when you constantly, constantly enable bad behavior and there's no respect or any boundaries that are set. And then, like I said, with that trauma bonding, where you have these strong emotional attachments to these people, but you know, the thing is, a healthy love is based on mutual respect and support. And she should feel safe emotionally. And she should be able to have trust with her partner. Now, instead of him encouraging her and building her up, it look like it looks like he's creating more problems for her than solutions. I don't see any evidence based on what she wrote here where she has any healthy boundaries. I don't think they have any real joy and happiness that's shared. I don't think he's a good companion. And where's the kindness and the compassion? You know, she's explaining to him what his drinking is doing to not only her, but also to his children and to the household. And he still refused to make the necessary changes when they have so many support groups out here. And, you know, he doesn't have anything like a religious, like I was a Jehovah's Witness and you're not allowed to go to AA. You're not allowed to get outside help because they consider that worldly, but he doesn't have any restrictions on himself. You know, AA is there, NA, if he's struggling with that. And for her, Al-Anon would help her tremendously. So that's pretty much the end of that, the best that I could give her. Of course, I'm sure I will hear from her again, and I'm looking forward to it. And I hope everything is working out. I hope she listens and take heed to the advice that I'm offering. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle.